Welcome to Balor Otherworld. We are here at Bunrati Castle and we are going to be revealing to you secrets which have laid hidden for 700 years when the war between the O'Brien clans took place. A brutal civil war which took many lives in this world and in the other world. There was magic, blood sacrifice, the dark arts, and violent sword and hand-to-hand -hand combat. So what are you waiting for? Come on. Now the civil war of the O'Briens took place between Turlock and his uncle Brian. Brian had been the king of Tormund until Turlock snatched it away from him. Brian wasn't the most intelligent gentleman and Turlock was very well liked, not only by his people, but by the creatures of the other world. This left Brian quite dejected and seeking revenge. It was just the opportunity that Thomas de Clare needed because he was after the magic and the secrets of the other world, which they held the keys to. Thomas de Clare, for a long time, had struggled against the Irish clans. They encountered fierce battles, terrible resistance from the Irish, and no matter how large a force he mustered, they always seemed to have these otherworldly powers. It's tales of his men mysteriously vanishing or being slaughtered when heavily outnumbering their foe. Brian and Thomas formed their alliance, beginning with a blood ritual. Now, Manny felt this was symbolic. It was remembered to be a symbolic gesture. What people don't realize is the dark magic that was involved in this ritual because Brian, very much seeking revenge for his betrayal by his own blood, was happy to reveal the secrets of pagan Ireland. Brian and Thomas de Clare used dark magic and their powerful forces to drive back the O'Briens and scatter their forces. In order to win back their territory, Turlock had to seek aid from his cousin William de Burgh in Galway. Combining these with their alliances with the McNamaras, the ODs, and creatures from the other world, they were able to retaliate and see victory done against Thomas de Clare, and Brian was forced back to Bunratty Castle. The alliance between Thomas and Brian was breaking and Thomas wanted to advance his powers further. He had pushed Brian to reveal darker secrets of the other world, something that even Brian was hesitant to do. Once he had outlived his usefulness, Thomas de Clare charged him with treason and in Bunratty, at the fortress they held here, he was sacrificed in a gruesome ritual. He was hung, drawn and ripped apart by horses. The story goes that even in the original castle which lay here before the stone fortress which was built by Thomas. Sheila and the gig here resided. It was a place of worship and of great magic. And this stone was absolutely central to a dark ritual which required the lifeblood of an O'Brien king. We have Brian sacrificed to the Sheila and the Geek, to the dark powers of the other world. He had a son, Duncan, and Duncan, fearful for his life and a little bit greedy, a little bit power hungry, he agreed to side with Thomas de Clare. And Thomas de Clare used him as a puppet. He used him to continue to control O'Brien forces. He continued to fight against Turlock 
and the Irish clans for seven more years. The end of the Civil War came about when Dunkard was found drowned to death. His body was dragged up and it was the end of the O'Brien element of the war. Thomas de Clare did not have enough power with his own soldiers to continue to fight against the Irish clans and so he had to sue for peace. Now there's mystery around how Duncan died. Many speculate that he went too far into the other world, too far into the magic powers, and he owed more than he could pay to the forces who granted him terrible abilities. Thomas de Clare actually died, allegedly, in 1287, only three years after the Civil War was ended. Many speculate that dark rituals and quite gruesome sacrifices were conducted here because Thomas de Clare had tasted magic. He had seen the other world during his war with the O'Briens and he craved more. Richard de Clare, the son of Thomas de Clare, continued his father's legacy here in Ireland. This man was biding his time with a very uncomfortable truce with the O'Briens until the Bruce War in 1318. It was the perfect opportunity to attack the Irish clans again. And he was going after them for some ungodly powers and portals to the other world. He supposedly died in 1318 in a great battle at Dysart O'D, fighting against the Irish clans. One thing that is often forgotten about are the reports of banshees and other peculiar creatures which were involved in this battle. A little known tale that Richard, the day before battle, came across a woman dressed in white down by a river. When he approached her and asked what she was doing, he noticed she was washing a breastplate and the limbs of a dead man. And when she answered him, she said, I am washing your possessions. I am washing your body. And she warned him that he would die soon. He did not heed her warning. He felt the magic he had acquired was sufficient to fight off against such bad omens. But as we know, he perished the following day. There are tales that his father was with him when he died. Very peculiar considering his father supposedly died 31 years earlier. Word quickly reached Lady de Clare, Richard's wife, here at Bunratty Castle. Now as soon as she heard the news, she immediately left because a huge force of Irish men and other worldly creatures who had battled against the Declares and their dark forces marched towards Bunratty, very, very anxious to lay their hands on all of the weapons and objects that have been acquired over the last number of decades. As soon as they got here though, they realized they were too late because Lady de Clare had left with her family, never to return to these lands. But she did make sure to set fire to the castle, to the lands around and destroyed everything that they owned. Everything that was left from those dark rituals they had performed. Although there are some tales and rumors that something had survived, maybe more than one, but some dangerous objects that are yet to reveal themselves.